I'm disappointed that they would write some such letter because we've had very good working relationships um, with both um, the agro processing group and um, uh, the agro producers um, um, group and the, the, the chamber. Um, but what did they expect us to do? Send the BDF? I mean, beat up people? I mean, what, what, what did they want us to do? We continue to try to foster um, the right economic environment. There are going to be hiccups. There are going to be strikes at the right of workers. We have sat and spoken to them about these matters and we're looking at it, but listen, we inherited a bankrupt country. We inherited an economy that was in its, on its knees. Agriculture contracted under the UDP. And in one year, we turned it around. So the agro producers are supposed to be very happy for what we have done, but it's like everything, no? Um, you give you one more. I mean, it's, it's, it's natural. It's normal. I'm not picking a fight with them. So I understand their frustrations and understand that these many of these um, acts have been passed um, a few decades ago, and now we need to modernize, and, and we will look at it. But they can't expect us to drop everything just to look after them. We have to look after COVID. We have to look at people who don't have to eat, you know? Um, these are things that affect daily lives every single day. Now, we are working very hard to improve the investor climate in Belize and confidence in, in Belize. And we have been quite successful in, in, in that short year. And I'd have wished that they, you know, that they could have sat down with us and said, okay, can we start or come with something concrete as opposed to just complaining? Let's get it done but by writing and creating that. that that's it's almost like an uncertainty. It, it does not, it gives the, it, it does not help them. It just make it worse for everyone.